All right. I, I really don't know where to go with this. 20 hours in. Basically finished it. I got my dream come true. One part. An undefeatable league boss battle. is just... I can't beat it. 20 hours in. I get to the final boss and I die. You have to fight four different league guys expert before you get to the final boss. And when you get to the final boss, well, you're out of everything. Make sure when you get to the league part of the game, stack up on revives, max energy cures and everything. That part I'm really happy for. For the rest of the game, it's not made by Nintendo. It's not made by Game Freaks. It's made by Ilka, a cell phone game company type thing. And it feels like it. The game feels empty. Very boring. I fell asleep with my controller in my hands at some part. Uh, the story, you don't really care for it. It passes by really fast. I'm surprised to go back and play the original. See if it's as good as this one. They make remastered of Pikachu. Let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee. That was super fun. They added more stuff. This is just... You go walking around, there's so much spamming of Pokemon jumping after you at the end of the game. I was holding like 150 repels and I would use them and use them and use them not to get. Like you get attacked by Pokemons all the time to capture them, but they're low levels all throughout the games. Everybody's low level, low level, low level. And you beat everybody easily and you beat so many peoples and so many by by passing whatever you want to call them, you know... The regular fishing guy and the skiing guy and this guy and the other guy. They should call this also the J.O. Dude Chronicles because basically everybody fighting you. You go, you fight against like trainers or people you meet up. They have five times the same Pokemon. It's very boring and unchallenging. But then at the end, it gets super crazy hard. And the Pokemons are level 60. And it gets really tough really really tough like the end of the game the whole game is easy but at the end it's super hyper tough i'm happy for that i'm happy for that i, I wanted that i got it now i can't finish it i'm gonna go to sleep i've been playing all weekend non-stop i'm dead tired i'm in the middle for the pokemon collection i'm happy it's there but do i tell people go out and buy it no not really i'm not gonna say that i'm 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 in the middle I'm happy I got it. Will I replay through it after? Probably not. I don't think it's as good as the original, honestly. And for the first time, I know Game Freaks is probably busy making their Pokemon game. The big one that's coming in January. But this one burnt me up so bad and I maybe I played too much. I don't want to play the other Pokemon game is coming out in January. I'm like, man, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, do I really want to? I don't know. I don't know. I'm really in the middle. I can't go out and tell you guys go buy it. It's, it's, it gets boring at some parts. It gets boring. The spanning of Pokemons. And you walk around and it's basically all, yes, if you go down in the basement, the secret basement, that's a kind of cool feature. Yes. Okay. I'll give you that. But after that, you get annoying. It's 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 pretty much all the same Pokemons all over. Ponita, J.O. Dude, and uh, the bad guys are always fighting with the same stuff. Can't remember. You want to use fighting and dark. You basically go throughout the game. You want some fighting mo move Pokemons and some fire moves, but fighting most of it. I basically made a team. I grabbed whatever was there. I got a lightning one. I got a fighting one. I got a grass one is Rosalia. Is it? And uh got a water one, got a ground one. I'm good. I'm good. But it got crazy tough at the end. It's crazy tough. I do appreciate that, but I'm really in the middle. It's not that great. It doesn't feel like a Game Freak Pokemon game. It feels like a game that was made by other people. It doesn't have the essence. It doesn't have the story is just, you, you don't care. You, nah. And when it gets to chapter 5 and 6, it's building up. I mean, when you fight gym 5, gym, the gym leaders 5, 6, the gym leaders are super freaking easy. 
But then you get to the final part. I'm burnt out. This game really burnt me out. I played too much. Played too much all weekend. So I'm in the middle. I can't go say buy it because if you're a Pokemon fan, even if you're a Pokemon fan, I don't, I don't think, I don't know. I'm in the middle. I'm really in the middle. But I got what I wanted. The toughest ever boss in a Pokemon universe. Can't defeat the final boss. I'm not going to spoil it who it is, but you see her throughout the game. She's tough. She's tough. Those final five league champions are the toughest I ever... Nothing's going to beat that. It's just insane. Make sure you stack up before. Get some revive. Get some max potion. Like Buy everything. You're going to need it. It's tricky. I love that part. So... I don't know where to stand. I'm not going to tell my fan subscribers go out and buy it. I can't. I can't. I'm really in the middle. I really can't. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the game if you played through it and if you're at the end. I want to go back and play the DS version to compare it again. Tomorrow's back to work. And we'll see how it goes. Have a good one. And uh, I'll see you soon.